Na mtu Tupate kusikia tu uh, na gavana wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja anasemaje kwamba tana na kukabiliwa tena mamlaka uh, ama vile viungo vyote ambavyo vilikuwa uh, vimekabidhiwa upande wa NMS. Um, constituted I also want to congratulate our new speaker uh, Mondo Boken Gondi and the deputy speaker Ono Bokados on their election. Um, on top of anchoring the county assembly forum I have uh, been persuading my colleagues governors um, at COG that we want county assemblies to be financially independent that you can get your budget directly not through the executive and that is a process that I hope together with the you know, um, intergovernmental relations committee and the state department of devolution because it will st still exist we can make sure it happens so that the county assemblies get their funding directly for you to do oversight I believe in oversight I have been a legislator for the last 10 years I know the power of representation and it is not me being oversighted as an individual. It is the county government. We need it, and we will support you as you um, do that. Um, devolution is an amazing gift to the people. It was a highlight of our Constitution 2010. It is a gift that has ensured that parts of this country that had never seen any development have been able to see development. We devolve fiscal responsibilities and political power. Unfortunately, as I've said, there had to be a situation in Nairobi where some of that was moved back to the national government, but today all the functions are back to the people, the people of Nairobi. <laughs> the lady in Mutwini, who is going to the dispensary or the hospital there, needs to hold to account somebody who she has voted in. So does the young man in Kayole, so does the father in Mihango. That is the power of devolution. It's based on the principle of subsidiarity that a function is best offered at the lowest level compatible with the benefit area of that service. Of course, it is a relationship. Devolution is all about the national government or about the county government. It is about both working um, together. And I've been assured uh, from very high sources, I'll let that announcement be made by the right person, that there will be a state department um, of, of, of devolution to continue with the work um, that uh, has, been, has been done. It is that important. And for us in Kenya, Kwanza, bottom-up means devolution. And you're right, Waziri Eugene. And I'm very happy that you also know bottom-up, you know, <laughs> and, 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 that you, and that you believe in it. So Waziri Eugene, Waziri Eugene is my big brother, and we joke a lot together. Uh, we really missed him on our side. But say, Maisha Niyo Tuenebele, Pamoja. I really want to honor the NMS and the staff at NMS. You did a good job. Despite challenges, I know in the beginning there were a lot of challenges with this side, but I want to encourage you that we still need a lot of your work. I want to urge my staff in Nairobi City County Government and those who are coming back that you are all now one. There is no former NMS staff and former county government staff. You are all staff of the Nairobi County Government and you will work together as equals. So what will happen, muakaribisha wote ambao walikuwa meenda, we will have space for everybody. I want to assure the nurses, because many of them felt that when NMS goes, that they will go home. We still need you. We need you to serve our people. Ultimately, every action we take, every activity we engage in, is focused on the people of Nairobi, and we're going to act in their best interest at every turn. So, karibuni sana, tumarudisha city hall, kujeni hapa tufanya kazi. When I came to City Hall, I found amazing people. My first meeting was here, was not with the directors and the chief officers and the CECs. I met the staff. Around 10,000 staff of Nairobi were at the square behind there, listening to me. The first thing they said is that they have never been addressed by a governor. The second thing they say is that whenever they gather there, it is to strike, not to consult. And I told them, because this is not your bottom map, I will start with them. And I opened for them suggestion boxes for the staff, where I personally open and receive the letters and I read. I want to thank you, all of those who have written, because you have told me a lot of things. But I have gotten a lot of information about the county, and you will see action being taken as we move along. I want us to see ourselves as one family tasked with the gift of stewardship over the people of Nairobi. We made promises. 
we went to the people. I want to see all of us as partners in delivering to the people of Nairobi. Let's remember the common person in Nairobi. Nairobi is going to be great. This is Africa's capital, and we must make sure it shines as a city of order, a city of dignity, a city of hope and opportunities for all. We want to make it easier for people to do business and not to stifle their business. In fact, in the coming week, we're going to sit down with all the informal traders in Nairobi. Because I know now that they saw Mutu Yaboto Mapa Mengia, they are everywhere. We will sit with them and agree on how to organize their work. Because all they are doing is trying to eke out a living for their people. I have said, let them not be harassed, but let them be facilitated. Once we agree on the streets that the hawkers are going to operate from, and the timing they are going to operate from, they shall be left to operate. They will be each given a number, and they will do their work. In the last, in the last one month, we have been able to try. Without my MCAs, and I'm happy they are there, without uh, uh, the new cabinet in Nairobi, but I want to thank those we've partnered with. We've been able to collect more than 54,000 tons of garbage that had filled the streets. I'm sure when you walk around, you see some changes. Every day we're doing 2,100 tons. And now, once the MCA has passed the budget, we're going to reconfigure the method with which we're going to clean the city. Nairobi must be clean. Nairobi must be sparkling. We've been able to start the recapping of 22 roads, starting with the sunken parking. We have now lit up the CBD. If you walk in the evening, you can see there's a change. The lights are on. Soon we're going to light up Ngong Road and many other of our places, especially the informal settlements. Work has begun and work is moving. I want to thank all of those we've partnered with, especially the military. And I must say, we've had this discussion with the Commander-in-Chief, who is the Head of State, um, together with the CDF. We're going to be entering into an MOU framework where in the areas we will still need the military, we will work with the military. And I will give you an example. The central garage has really improved. Our vehicles were everywhere in many garages. Something small was being charged at a million shillings. But uh, with the leadership of NMS and General Badi, they were able to bring it back together. We shall continue that operation. In fact, I'm glad to announce that what used to be the fueling station at central garage is now going to be revived within a month. Our petrol station is going to operate, and we are going to enter into agreements and buy fuel at about five shillings less than commercial rates, so that we can save the people of Nairobi millions and millions of shillings. We need that um, uh, efficiency. We've also agreed that we're going to do um, a proper tree planting exercise together with the private sector. If you go up KCC, which was my former office, and you look around the city, you see three ecological zones. There is the green side, then there is a brown side, and there's a side which is almost being a desert. We must plant trees. We must plant trees in the city. I know there was outcry but about the pruning of a tree um, down the road. I think it was pruned a bit too much. But we're going to replace. We're going to bring fully grown trees. I know together with the central bank, we're bringing uh, a lot of uh, palm trees from Malaysia that are going to line up um, Harambe Avenue. We're going to line up City Hall Way. Let us bring back the green city under the sun that we knew as young people. When we were growing up, I grew up just two kilometers from here. The city was green. We used to have Camero collecting garbage. Water was flowing. We must return Nairobi to that status and to take it above and beyond what it has been. I'm glad to report also that we're making a lot of progress on the issue of water. You know that every day the people of Nairobi require 850 million liters of water, but we're only able to get 525.6 million liters. Um, together with the uh, Athi Water Works and Nairobi Water, we've had a discussion with His Excellency the President to speed up the Northern Collector Tunnel so that it is done before um, the expected date, which was next year, December, so that we can add another 140 million liters of water per day and make sure that water is received by the people of Nairobi. Water is a matter of dignity. They all need to receive it. Um, additionally to that, we are already in discussions to continue with the waste to energy plant. Dandora will not be the same again. We are going to convert our waste into energy and the MRA facilities that General Badi has spoken about across the town. And our young people are the ones who are going to do that work of collating the garbage, sorting it out in the sub-counties before it is transmitted to the landfill. Kutakuwa na kazi. Na tumesema kazi ni kazi. I think without going into much more details, let me assure the people of Nairobi. The task I have received is huge, but it is not daunting. There is grace. 
there is goodwill, and I am a hard worker. I will wake up every single morning to serve the people of Nairobi in all the 14 functions given to us um, in the Constitution. We are going to make Nairobi work, and we'll make it work together. I need you also to play your part as we transform this city. We are capable and we are grateful that there's a lot of support that is coming um, to our city. It is not going to be magic. Things will not change in a day or two days. We will be patient, but you will see incremental changes as we move along and work um, to, together on that. I want to assure those that might be worried that there might be victimization or there might be you know, favoritism, that everything we do will be based on objectivity, even if you have been staff on the other side, come back home. If you have something to tell me, my doors are always open. You will get to me. But we will serve our people with dignity and with diligence as we move along. So as Antegi Sana, the functions are now back. Mboka ni mboka, kazi ni kazi, hassle ni hassle. Zindo hiyo? Ayahuwa na nuzianga masuti. Uwe ni hassle. Na washukuru sana. Um, to mbele. I know the subcommittees are still going to give the final reports, but let us move ahead. In the next few days, uh, possibly next week, we shall be naming our cabinet together with the deputy governor, and we shall issue the advertisements for chief officer positions. Please, people of Nairobi, apply. Come join us in this noble task of making Nairobi work. Asante ni sana. <laughs> Thank you.